Assalamu alaikum dear viewers, hope you are doing well. I am Shubham Vidayu, again here with another informative video related to the electrical machines and the MATLAB simulation. Dear viewers, today we are going to perform the experiment regarding the DC series generator connected with the load on the MATLAB software. So before doing this experiment, let us discuss some few points regarding the DC series generator. In a series mode DC generator, the field winding is connected in series with the armature winding so that the whole armature current flows through the field winding as well as the load. Since the field winding carries the whole of the load current and it has the few number of the turns of the thicker wire having the low resistance. The series generators are rarely used except for the special purposes like the boosters. In the series mode generator, the armature current is equal to the series field current, is equal to the load current and is equal to the whole current of the machine. The power developed in the armature is the product of the generated EMF multiplied by the armature current and the power delivered to the load is the multiplication of the terminal voltage multiplied by the load current. So dear viewers, without wasting time, let us do the MATLAB simulation of the DC series generator connected with the load. So dear viewers, our main objective of this experiment is to implement this DC series generator circuit diagram on the MATLAB software. So in the series mode DC generator, the field winding is connected in series with the armature winding so that the whole current of the machine is flow through the field winding and as well as the load. The field winding carries the whole load current of the machine and it has the fewer number of the turns of the thicker wire having the low resistance. If the wire resistance is low, then according to the law of resistance, the resistance is directly proportional to the length of the conductor and inversely proportional to the cross-sectional area of the conductor. If the cross-sectional area of the conductor is more, then it will carry more current. Okay? So the field winding carries the whole load current of the machine, so it has the fewer number of the thick wire having the low resistance. So these series generators are used as the boosters. The armature current of the series mode DC generator is equal to the series field current and is equal to the load current and is equal to the total load current of the machine is the same one. The terminal voltage is to be measured by connecting the voltmeter in parallel across the load side so we can easily measure the terminal voltage of the DC series generator. The power developed in the armature is the product of the generated EMF multiplied by the armature current and the power delivered to the load is the multiplication of the terminal voltage multiplied by the load current. So here the load current is equal to the series field current and that equal to the armature current so that the whole current flows through the series field winding and as well as the load and as well as the armature. So dear viewers, we have to implement this circuit diagram of the DC series generator on the MATLAB software. Go to the power library. We need RLC branch. We need ground. We need DC machine. We need current measurement. We need voltage measurement. We need bus selector. We need constant block. We need gain block, we need product block. So this is the DC series generator. Go to the parameters, okay. Make it speed W, apply, okay. So this is DC series generator, okay. Now connect the armature winding and the field winding in series, okay. Now connect the load with the field winding and the armature winding ok so if you want to measure the load current so connect this emitter in series with this load so this emitter would give us the load current ok this display will give us the reading of the load current ok in the series mode generator, the load current is equal to the armature current is equal to the total load current of the machine. Okay. So if you want to measure the voltage across the load terminal, so by connecting the voltmeter in parallel across the load, okay. So this voltmeter would give us the load voltage or the terminal voltage. Okay. So this display which is connected with this voltmeter will give us the 
reading of the generated voltage by the DC series generator. So now connect the measurement port of the DC series generator with the bus selector. Okay, go to the bus selector properties, select speed W radian per second, armature current, the field current. Okay, apply. Okay. So here the speed is in terms of the radian per second. So formula for converting the radian per second into the RPM. So it will be one RPS, one radian per second is equal to the 9.55 RPM. So the function of this gain block is to convert the speed from radian per second into the revolution per minute. Okay. So this gain block will convert the speed from radian per second to the RPM. Okay. And this display will give us the speed in RPM. Okay. So this display will give us the value of the armature current IA in the case of the DC series generator. And this display will give us the value of the field current okay of a series generator so if you want to measure the power delivered to the load so the function of this product block will give us the value of the power delivered to the load so formula for calculating the power is equal to the voltage multiplied by the current okay so from the output of this product block we will get the power delivered to the load of this display will give us the value of the electrical power so here we are given double five zero radian per second as a speed input to this dc series generator load resistor thousand ohm so now our circuit is ready for the simulation. Run the simulation and observe the different parameters like the speed in RPM, the armature current, the field current, the terminal voltage and the load current and also the power delivered to the load in the case of the DC series generator. Run the simulation. So here our speed in terms of the radian per second is double five zero RPS. So double five zero multiplied by 9.55 so we are getting the speed in terms of the RPM is 5253. So here in the case of the DC series generator, the armature current is same as that of the series field current and also the load current is the same and the total whole current of the machine is the same one. So here the armature current is 0.012 ampere. Again, the field current is 0.012 ampere and again the load current is 0.012 ampere. Because in the case of the DC series generator, the field winding is connected in series with the armature winding so that the whole armature current flows through the field winding and as well as the load side. So this is the terminal voltage of the DC series generator, which is a 12.01 volt. And if we want to calculate the power delivered to the load, which is the product of the terminal voltage multiplied the load current. So we are getting the power 0.1443 watts. So dear viewers, this was the MATLAB simulation of the DC series generator connected with the load that we have done on the... So dear viewers, this was the experiment regarding the DC series generator connected with the load that we have done on the MATLAB software in which we have observed the results of the different parameters like the armature current, the load current, the field current, the terminal voltage and the power delivered to the load in the case of the DC series generator. I hope that you have enjoyed the today's experiment and at the last, do subscribe my YouTube channel for more informative videos related to the electrical machines, MATLAB simulation and electrical engineering area. Thank you.